day 15. So as you can see on my back, Faris this morning is working on the engine. And in the afternoon he asked my help so we can take down the side door and start to cut the right side of the van in order to take care of the rust. But this morning I will do an experiment. So as I told yesterday I had this idea to uh, use actually the grey water tank as for clear water and eventually to use for a shower. So first of all I want to do Actually, I want to know exactly how many liters uh, from some forums and some other uh, uh, Facebook group I read, I think it was time ago, about 27 liters, but I want to be sure exactly how much. So, for my experiment today, I got, of course, the gray tank, a 10 liter tank, so in order to feel and to know how much a uh, funnel, so it will be more easy, and our pot and our electric stove that actually it's come pretty handy now because in the apartment that we rent there's no kitchen, I mean where's the sink, but and this is something that we usually carry in case of emergency actually like now that we are not able to use the kitchen inside the van and this is pretty good so it's something that I mean it's not that big and it becomes handy time to time and of course here inside I just got it yesterday I hope that I will be able to get it inside uh, okay, yes, I got a thermometer uh, that goes to 110 uh, degrees Celsius that I will use later. So the first part I want exactly to know um, how many liters can contain this tank. So, here are the first 10 liters. Uh, of course, let me move these, but we don't need it now. As you can see, I stop here uh, one exit. So actually, let me explain how these one work behind your kitchen. So, here actually there's a hole and there's a cap that you can put in. And this is... Um, connected to the electricity and connected to your display that you have on top on the van and tell you uh, ex when, when actually the grey water tank is full. This one is the entrance, so with a pipe everything that you throw in the sink come from here. And this is the exit and it's uh, near the fridge Actually, it's between the fridge and the gas bottle, and you have a crane that you can open and close in order to let out the water. And then you have an extra here, and this is the, let's say, the emergency. So when actually uh, all the water tank is filled to the top, this one automatically starts to let's say fill out some water and that actually uh, there is a pipe that goes actually in the same place where you have your uh, fridge ventilation so that's and I think that's for the emergency so uh, it will never come back to the sink actually the water so it's, if this one it's blocked for example from uh, all the everything that could deposit here at the bottom. So let's start now to fill with 10 liters. Almost on the top, as you can see, 
has a different, uh, different shape. So here it's lower and it's higher there. So let's see it. So this is, let's say, 20, be 20. 526 liter here inside and probably actually this part could be a liter of two so yeah that was right let's say it's between 26 and 27 liter so the tap water that I, I took from outside um, is 30 degree of course depends where you take the water if it's from the mountains for example could be for sure colder uh, but here in Greece, I mean, what I use now, so let's say 30 degree, I mean, let's say temperature between 25 and 30 degree. So what I will do now, I want to see in the percentage. So I will put here 5 liter of water, 30 degree, as I told, and then see how much will change the temperature with one liter of boiling water. Uh, so I will put actually one liter here. That's 50. And the other 50. So the percentage is if, for example, I put 20 liters of cold water at 30 degree should be a, should have the same effect with four liters of boiling water but it's actually what the pan can hold so I will put this on the stove so by the way this is option number A so what happened we change the tank and we when we want to have a shower we boil four liters of water we pour the boiling water in and then we're gonna have 24 liters and we'll see at which temperature. Second option that actually was an advice from my brother and also another friend uh, on YouTube is to have part of the um, cooling system, so the water cooling system passing through the tank um, so it can create hot water um we have to see i discuss it with Faris. uh he's a little bit worried that he can uh break the engine i mean because the water system will be longer so the temperature will be higher on the engine so that could be the problem but we're gonna check this option uh option c it will be actually to see if it's possible you know there's solar panel for hot water but usually have a big huge tank on the top and you put on the roof of the house so the idea I asked to our friend in Portale del Sole if it will be possible actually have only the solar panel and actually attack and put our tank as, a, as the water tank okay here is the boiling water and I'm gonna pour it inside one liter. Hope not to spill. All right. And we'll check. Mix it a little bit. And we check the temperature actually. And then I can just even feel it. It's not bad, but I want just to, I mean, the one thing it's number, the other thing is the sensation uh, and the feeling of your skin. I say 40 degree, so I actually, with one liter 100 degree water, I raise of 10 degree the tap water that was inside. So let's see. Well, the pan is hot. Yeah, um, it's nice. I mean, it's not what maybe somebody feel about 
hot shower. I mean, but, but it's it's warm, definitely. Uh, great for a shower. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's great. So I think that's it for today. In the afternoon, we're gonna start with the right side of work, and I will help Foris to take down the side door and that's it for today see ya